What's up guys, Eagle Fang here and today we got Why John Green should be redeemable Sorry, part two. And as so as I said in the last video, this video will be part two and yeah, so this episode, so this episode will cover episode seven of tw ten uh, season two's episode seven to Episode seven, season two, episode seven, to season three's episodes one to ten of bit of of Cobra Kai. Okay, so this so we're so yeah. So as I left off in my last video, Chris, you know, was you know he was you know corrupting Johnny's students, you know, like do whatever he wants, and he was you know, like, and Johnny like saw that like. When Tori Miguel kicked down one guy and stole their fly, he was and when and when and when Chris told Miguel to finish Hawk, he saw that and and he was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I was I was doing what Sensei Chris told me." And he was like, "Do you really want to ruin the rest of your life?" So so yeah, so John, John so yeah, so. John, Johnny, you know, he was like, I'm done, I thought this could work between Crease, but yeah, I'm a dojo, but Crease, you know, he's always evil, and he came back in episode 10, after Miguel was injured, and he took all Cobra Kai students away from Johnny, and Johnny was like, fine, he was like, fine, this was a mistake, reopening Cobra Kai was a mistake, if you want, if you want, if you want Cobra Kai jurors, and yeah, so that's where we'll leave off on season 1. So, season three basically picks up with Chris, you know, with Daniel going to visit Chris, Daniel going to visit Chris, going to visit Johnny, going to Cobra Kai, to thinking Johnny still owns it, but he learns that Chris still owns it, and he's like, um, and he's like, um, where's Johnny, or something like that, and he's like, and yeah, so, basically, so yeah, so, Tori had, you know, put the, Quit the Cobra Kai because she had to take care of her mom. And the weird part is, her brother's a young. If Tori was in, like Juvie, why is her brother still there? Like, like, like if she was like in Juvie, and if she was like let out to protect her mom, like why is she still in like you know like why is her brother still in her possession? Well, anyway, Chris goes to confront her. She goes to say, hey. Come Come back to Cobra Kai, you're, you'd be cool there. And she's like, um, bro, um, I have all this stuff on my hand. Yeah. Taking my sick mom, taking care of her sick mom, and, and taking care of her sketchy landlord. But Chris is like, I got this, and me, and, and she comes back to Cobra Kai saying, oh yeah? Basically, what I got done, I handled it. Basically, Chris handled it for her, but come on. Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, the rest of the adventure was when Johnny failed to visit Robbie. Actually, Robbie, actually, we know. When, actually, Chris, he, when he made people bite, he made people feed his snake, but when Bert and the other people didn't, want to do it. Chris being evil was like, hey, then you're off the team. And Hawk, he was kind of like, wait a minute, are you sure we should be making cutbacks right now? Y'all Valley. He's like, are you sure we need cutbacks come back right now? And he's like, those weren't, uh, yeah, those weren't, you know, those weren't, you know, those people weren't ready. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that and when Daniel and Amanda, when Daniel and Amanda, you know, ask, Chris goes to go to get Kyler and his team to join his team, and, and gets Kyler and his posse to join Cobra Kai, and then when, and also when Daniel and Amanda get, have to get, you know, like, Chris, you know, like, want Chris evicted as, as a valley, as a dojo, he basically... He basically beats up Amon's, you know, yeah, he basically beats up that Amon guys, but both people, and he's like, this is on them, it's on you, and basically, for some reason, with the, 
I heard that this is one of the dumbest scenes in Cobra Kai, where a snake just pops open, pops open out of a doorway. Yeah. So yeah. Then he, when Johnny feels when Chris goes to visit Robbie, basically they say, "Hey, bro, join Cobra Kai," and he, because remember he was yeah. So and Robbie was like, "Um, bro." Yeah, he was that nonsense, and yeah, yeah. So, but when Robbie was eventually let out of Cobra Kai, went let out of Julie because he didn't trust anyone. Johnny, he eventually went to Creek, and he was like Sensei Creek, and Creek just had an evil smile. So, so, so yeah. So even though even though Amanda slaps Creek for them breaking Dimitri's arm. She slaps him across the face. And basically, what does he do? He files a stringer against her. And for some reason, people, you know, like say, Oh, yeah, because you filed a string order, you can't. Yeah. So, yeah. And he also talked to Johnny. And, yeah. Bas basically, crazy doing a lot of evil stuff this season. And, yeah. But in the fun. But then in episode 7, after Chris, show, Chris shows up with episode 8, called The Good, The Bad, and The Bad, sorry for my swearing, but come on, it's the name of the episode. He, Chris shows up at, you know, like, Cobra Kai, and he's like, go, shows up at the thing, he's like, and, and, and Johnny and Daniel, they try to defend their daughter, saying, oh, oh yeah, this guy's just teaching people against the crap. Teaching people crap, and he's teaching people, he's teaching the kids. He's brainwashing his kids to to fall by his philosophy, and and he's, and he's like, and he's like, wasn't your and he, and he basically attacks Daniel directly, saying, wasn't your daughter Sam the one who attacked the fight, started the fight, and Amanda, she's like, man, she's like, whoa, whoa, you do not mention Sam like that, you piece of crapper, and I don't, I'm very swearing this stuff, so she's saying. Yeah, so, so yeah. Then, in the finale, Cobra Kai decides to break in two, decides to have a home invasion, decides to have a home invasion, decides to go at it, boom, 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 boom. Because, you know, they were, <coughs> Chris told them, was Robbie being there? He was like, "Oh yeah, Daniel and Sam have started an alliance," and that just made Tori mad that, that her ex-boyfriend was starting an alliance with his ex-girlfriend. Now, now his ex-girlfriend turned girlfriend Sam. So yeah, so so yeah, so that's all. It's a big fight. Johnny goes to Johnny goes to confront. Johnny goes to front Chris. He sees Robbie there. He's mad. Robbie's obviously defending Chris, saying, "Oh yeah, Chris knows what's best for you." All this kind of stuff. But Johnny is hearing it until 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 Robbie, because Robbie is super super evil. He's like he's totally not. He's totally naive into believing what Chris. He's he's eating cereal that Chris is feeding him. He's basically like, "Oh yeah." Chris, Chris told me that I, could, I blamed you for everything in my life. You walking out, but now Chris has told me why should I blame myself? Why I can blame you, Johnny? And and that's when you know, like John, and John, and yeah, and Robbie says one of the worst lines in the entire show. He calls Johnny weak, but Johnny just took out your sensei. Did you not see it all, Robbie, or were you? Too busy trying to stop Johnny to pay attention to that. Because it's kind of like, why would he say that? Well, anyway, after knocking out Rob Blackson, Chris tackles Johnny. They get into a fight. Daniel shows up. They get into a fight. And then Sam and Miguel show up. They get into a f Not get into a fight. But then... But then... But, but then... But then... But then Chris is like, Hey, guys. What... What the? Why, why don't we sell things old fashioned way? Like in a tournament. And he's like, if I lose, you guys, 
I leave the dojo forever, but if you lose, and before Johnny can, before Chris can cut, say something, Johnny says, we won't lose. Like, what was he going to say, Johnny? That was kind of rude to cut him off like that. I guess the show, but isn't that rude to cut someone off like that before he, he, he should have finished speaking before Chris should have finished speaking. And then Johnny would have said we won't lose, we won't lose. But instead they just cut him off. That's kind of rude, Johnny. And yeah, and basically that wraps. And Robbie says, "Leave all of you." And basically that wraps up this part of the Creed storyline because you know we got more season four, and Creed's gonna become a good guy by then. Yeah. So so far, Creed has shown why he's not redeemable. He has shown why he is not redeemable. If you see where it, he would try to choke Johnny, as I said, with the whole Robbie thing, with the whole Robbie calling him weak or something, even though he was like, calling him weak, even though he just attacked Sensei. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next. And I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an eagle tactic night, and I'll see you in the next video.